What makes fire very, very different from other natural hazards, earthquakes, volcanoes, floods, is that fire is in and of itself a process. I loved starting fires when I was a kid. I started university and got interested in the outdoors and gravitated towards forestry and fire. My career actually started in 1976 and I became officially involved in how houses burn down as a research endeavor. But the best place to get experience and observation is actually on fires. The fire lab involves a fairly wide variety of disciplines, all the way from what I do, which is physical fire behavior, the physics and engineering of how fire works, to the smoke that comes from the fire. And in there is also the ecological aspects of fire. One of the things that I noticed was that frequently I'd be on a fire operationally and the houses closer to the wildfire would actually survive and the ones furthest away from the wildfire would be igniting. What that says is that the differences in the ignitability between two houses right next door to one another is different and it's local. When that fire gets into the canopy of shrubs and trees, it's usually termed a crown fire. The crown fire produces very large flames and high intensities. It begins stripping off burning material that becomes what we call firebrands. Visualize for a moment millions of firebrands being lofted out of an intense wildfire. So my curiosity from the observations that I make allow me then to formulate certain questions that I can investigate doing experiments in a laboratory situation where I can actually isolate a certain aspect to the fire, expose a material and find out what it takes to ignite it. It's the local conditions around the house that are principally responsible for the ignition potential. And I call this the home ignition zone. What we can take from that is that the wildland urban interface fire problem is a home ignition problem, not a wildfire control problem. Calling it a natural disaster tends to put us into a passive victim role. And yet we have tremendous opportunities to keep these disasters from occurring if we're proactive. An interesting twist on this idea of preventing home ignition disasters during wildfires is the very vulnerability of our houses and our fear of wildfire inhibit our ability to actually be compatible and to actually have a more ecologically consistent role for fire to play in our landscapes in North America.